Here we're going to be looking at an important component of the immune system called the phagocytes. We see kind of a general depiction here of phagocyte in a foreign molecule be, being bound to, uh, being destroyed, and ultimately excreted here as waste or as particles here. So getting into uh, phagocytes, they basically scan the fluid areas of the body. And macrophages are one example, and they are the chief phag phagocytotic uh, cells in the body. There are free macrophages and they wander through the regions in search of cellular debris and they can eat up to 100 invading cells before dying. So here's just one example here of the macrophages, kind of the web-like fingers that come out and attach to these foreign uh, bacteria and will ultimately be destroying them. So they have that kind of binding, that kind of intake, that lysome to help destroy it, and then these soluble debris is being uh, released through exocytosis. And they can kill up to basically 100 um, invading cells before they themselves um, perish. We have something called neutrophils, and they become uh, phagocytotic when entering infectious material. Uh, so it's important to help clean up the body to help prevent potential infection. They help destroy pathogens by breaking them down with enzymes. They die shortly um, after killing the target cell, so unlike our um, ones that we saw before, the macrophages and neutrophils, they can't destroy hundreds, they die shortly after killing the cell. The downfall is that these, can, these neutrophils can also kill normal, healthy cells. And a collection of dead neutrophils is also called pus. If you ever had that kind of area under the skin that you kind of poke and all that kind of pus comes out, well, that's actually a lot of neutrophils. They are the most abundant white blood cells, accounting for about 54 to 62 percent. They're kind of that first to come into an infection and try to clean it up as best that they can. Um, that's why they can be not quite as selective as we saw with the macrophages. Eosinophils are weakly phagocytotic against parasitic worms. They help control inflammation, increased activity during parasite infection, and allergic reactions. These only compose about 1 to 3 percent of white blood cells here. Uh, and you can see not heavily utilized by the immune system, but still offer another uh, component of protection. Then we have the mast cells, and these bind and ingest a wide range of bacteria. They also release histamine, which if you have allergies you might be familiar with, uh, during inflammation, uh, which is where it's important, but also, as I said, during those allergic reactions. Those histamines can kind of uh, become overactive and can kind of cause those allergic kind of reactions we have. That's why a lot of people take antihistamines to help mute uh, or reduce the impact that this has on the body, because if it's overregulated, it can be uh, quite the annoyance.